today I'm going to show you the basic bread and butter double hook wahoo ballyhoo for light tackle. This is for your 50 pound, 30 pound, 20 pound test trolling application. Several things you're going to need. A piece of five foot, six foot section of number seven rigging wire for your leader material. A piece of copper wire. A large size ballyhoo that's been gutted and cleaned out. A small Islander lure and two hooks. Now the hooks, the front hook is going to be a needle eye hook, the back hook is going to be a ring eye hook. And eventually we're going to snap these two hooks together so that we make a double hook rig. So you're going to want to have your front hook to be one size and your back hook to be one size larger. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my forward hook, which is a again a needle eye hook. You only use a needle eye hook with wire leader material or cable. And I'm going to take my piece of wire and I'm going to go through the eye of the hook and I'm going to tie or twist a haywire twist. Now at this point you can do one of two things. You can leave a little bit of a pin sticking up like traditional style to go through the head of the ballyhoo or you can break it off and just use your copper wire. I like to break it off and have a nice smooth plane. I'm going to break my haywire twist. Now I have a haywire twist on a needle eye hook. The next thing I'm going to do is take my ballyhoo wire, my, my copper wire. Now a lot of times you'll see rigs where the copper wire is attached to the loop of the leader or the haywire twist itself. I think that that is incorrect. You should always attach your ballyhoo wire to your hook. So I come up through the eye of the hook and then I wrap the ballyhoo wire around the hook and itself a couple times so that it's on there nice and tight. So now we're going to take our front hook and we're going to kind of line it up, match it up to the ballyhoo we're using so that the eye of the front hook is just towards the back of the gills of your ballyhoo. And then we're going to take our back hook and we're going to measure where that back hook is going to sit in the bait as well so that we have an idea of where to put our slits. So I got that. I'm going to take my ballyhoo. I'm going to turn it over. Slow just that. I'm going to remove a couple of the scales so I can get a good puncture with my knife. And I'm going to make a nice straight slit in the front of the ballyhoo. And again, I'm going to take my back hook and I want to estimate where that hook's going to come out. And I want to line it up on my bait like that. And then take my knife and again, remove a couple scales to get started. And then I can make another slit in the back of the bait. So the first thing I do is I take my forward hook and I rig it just like I normally would rig a traditional value. I'm going to go through and just leave it just like that. I'm going to bring that back hook, hook up towards the front hook. I'm going to line them up and I'm going to actually go through the eye of the back hook with my front hook. Now I'm going to snap that hook in place, bring everything up into the bait. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my value wire, I'm going to make sure that front hook is where I want it, up in the bait. And I'm going to take the value wire and go behind both gills of the value hoop. I'm going to bring my wire back around. And I'm going to go through the eyes. You can take the eyes out if you want, if you're rigging a number of baits and you're worried about time or you don't want your baits to spin, you can take your eyes out. I like to leave my eyes in, especially if I'm only rigging a few baits. I take my time and I have no problem with spinning baits. And I've never seen a value swimming in the wild without eyes, so I like to leave the eyes in. I go through the eyes, and then back around, and up through that little soft spot in the top of the value's upper lip. 
and then pull that through. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And then simply wrap my ballyhoo wire up the length of the bill. A few wraps, break off my bill. And continue to wrap with the wire going straight down the center of the ballyhoo's bill. Now we have our basic ballyhoo, double hook ballyhoo, just like that. The last thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the other end of our leader. We're going to take our Hawaii, small Hawaiian eye. And we're going to slide that down onto our leader and over the top of our bait. There is your com completed bait. Basic double hook. Ballyhoo for light tackle wahoo fishing.